Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new Upright technology here in the Develop module. Upright will allow you to straighten your photos and correct perspective issues all with one click. Now, we have other tools here in Lightroom that have been here for quite a while that allow us to do the same things. We've got this Straighten tool up in the Crop tool, and here in the Lens Corrections panel, on the Manual tab, we have Vertical and Horizontal Perspective sliders. The difference with Upright is that it analyzes our photos and makes an automatic correction for us with a simple click. Now this particular photo has a lot of issues. I can see that it's bulging outward from the center, so that's a lens distortion issue. It's also not level. This line is going downward. The vertical lines are tilted inward because I'm shooting up at the building. And then the horizontal lines are tilted inward as well. So it has vertical and horizontal perspective issues. So I'm here in the Lens Corrections panel, and I'm on the Basic tab. Before I use Upright, it's highly recommended that you enable profile corrections. So look at the photo as I click on the checkbox. You saw that it corrected that lens distortion issue, and it also corrected some lens vignetting that I had along the corners. So it applied the profile that shows here on the Profile tab, which is a profile specific to the lens that I used when I shot this photo. And this isn't new here in Lightroom 5. I'm going to go back to the Basic panel. I'm also going to go ahead and remove Chromatic Aberration because I know this lens has this color fringing issue. This isn't new either, so I won't go into that. And we'll come down to the upright functionality here. Now, I'm not going to check Constrain Crop at this point. If I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it at the end of this process. So we have four options for upright, auto, level, vertical, and full. Level will simply straighten the photo. So as I click on it, if you look at this horizontal line in the photo, you'll see that it, in fact, straightens that out. Vertical is going to fully correct this vertical perspective issue without leveling the photo. Now we can see that the lines of the columns are completely straight. It visually looks odd because they're so stretched, but it's technically corrected. Full is a combination of leveling and correcting the vertical perspective. If I click on that, you'll see that it does both. Auto will both level and apply a more conservative vertical perspective correction. So I'll click on Auto, and we can see that these vertical lines do tilt inward a little bit, but this looks a bit more realistic than this full adjustment does. I will often click through these different options for a photo and just go with whichever one works best. I don't even need to really remember what each one does. When I settle on which one works best, I can still go to the Manual tab and continue to refine this. So maybe I want to fix the vertical perspective a little bit more here. And then I'll go back to the Basic tab. Now, often when you fix perspective issues, you're going to end up with a white border. When you do, you're going to have to crop the photo to get rid of that border. You can choose to constrain crop here, and it will not only crop out the white, but it will maintain the proportions or the shape of your original photo. So I can check that, the crop's done, and I can go with this crop. If I want more control over the crop, and I uncheck this, notice that I don't get the rest of my photo back. The secret is that you have to go into the Crop tool to take control over it again. At this point, I can see what was cropped out. I can choose to take a different part of the photo. For example, I might be willing to go with a taller photo here than my original, so that I can have more of the stairs showing here. Then I can put the crop tool away, and I've got a solution that works for me. I'm going to go to another example here. Now in this photo, I've got profile corrections checked. I'm going to go ahead and remove the chromatic aberration, and I'm ready to fix the perspective lines in this photo. I want to show you something that can happen with auto that could potentially throw you off if you don't know it. Notice before I do it that I've got this power pole edge showing, and I've got a fair amount of grass at the bottom. When I click on Auto, it fixes the perspective beautifully, and it crops off those portions of the photo. So I'm not seeing the white. I'm going to do Ctrl or Command Z to undo that, 
and show you that I would see the white if I chose these other options. Then I could constrain crop or go into the crop tool to get a different crop. If I choose auto on the other hand, it often automatically does that cropping for me because auto is designed to be a fully automated solution. Now what threw me off a little bit is I did this and later on I came back to the photo and I went into the crop tool and I didn't find the rest of my photo. So I don't have the power pole here. I don't have the rest of the grass. There's no white showing. So I can't change my mind on the crop if I use auto. What I would have to do, for example, if I really wanted more grass at the bottom here, is come back down to lens correction and choose a different option here or turn this off. So I could go with vertical, for example. That gives me a little bit more grass here. It's too much of a correction. You could see the lines actually bend outward now. I would go to the manual tab, slide the vertical slider to fix that a little bit. Then I could go into the crop tool and crop this exactly as I want it. So if you're missing part of your photo and you go into the crop tool and you don't find it, you need to come down to upright and choose an option other than auto. And I see that I didn't do a great job on the crop here, so I'd go back in and fix that. Next, I want to point out this note here that when you use upright, it's going to reset any crop or any manual transform that you currently have applied. So let me reset this photo completely. And let's say that I'd actually crop this photo. This is a real stretch. I know it's going to look terrible, but I'd crop this photo to be a square. When I go to use upright, it's going to go back to my original photo. It's resetting the crop. It would also be resetting any of the sliders I have here on the manual tab. I'm going to do Ctrl or Command Z. So I'm back to my square photo. If I didn't want it to reset the crop, I just wanted to work with what I see here, I would hold the Alt or the Option key down. And that's in fact what it says to do here. So I'll hold the Alt to the Option key down. I'll click on Auto. Now I have a solution that preserved that crop that I had to start out with. Now the last thing I want to show you is that Upright occasionally can't come up with an answer. Here's a photo that's got some perspective issues. I've enabled profile corrections. I'll click on Auto and I'll scroll down here just a little bit. It says no Upright correction found. And if I click on these other buttons, I find the same thing. So it can't figure this one out. In this case, I would simply go to the Manual tab and make my adjustments using the sliders. Now notice that as I'm in the manual tab and I'm hovering over using these sliders that I have a grid on my photo. If I want to see a grid here in the basic panel in Lens Corrections or really anywhere in the develop module, I can now go up to view, loop overlay, and choose grid. So as I'm working with upright or doing any other work, I can assess how it's doing relative to the grid. It's kind of faint in this photo. So let me go ahead and go back to a photo where it's easier to see. I can actually modify this grid by holding the control or command key down and I can click and drag on size to make it smaller or bigger. And then I can click and drag on opacity to make it heavier or more faint. Since I've shown you the grid, let me also show you that in library and develop as well as in Tethered Capture, by the way, you can also show guides. So I'll go back up to View, Loop Overlay, and I'll choose Guides. Then I can hold the Control or Command key down, and I can click and drag to reposition the guides. Of course, I might not want both Guides and Grid, so I could go to View, Loop Overlay, and turn off the one that I don't want. Now, once you've got that set, the shortcut for toggling these on and off is Control or Command, Alt or Option, O. So that toggled it off. Control or Command, Alt or Option, O brings them back. So this concludes the instruction on Upright. I'm Laura Shu. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch more of my Lightroom 5 beta videos at laurashu.com.